I grew up in a little town called Sunset, Utah. Loved it. Had a great time. Have um, two sisters. And uh, we lived in a little house on 1800. Now, it was little, but it had lots of levels. In fact, you had the very upstairs room, which was the attic room. It was a little room, and it had been made into a bedroom. It didn't even have a door on it. You'd come down the stairs. That would be the main level um, with the main bedrooms, kitchen, front room. And then you'd go down a few stairs, and you'd be at the washroom, large room. It had a fruit storage area and the washroom, and then um, the back door entrance. You'd go down another level, and you'd be in the basement. Now, the basement was basically used for storage. Um, it was a half basement, so half the size of the home, but... Um, Still, you could store things in there, and it was always nice and cool. Now, I grew up in that upstairs attic bedroom, and it was great, except for the summer. This was before we had central air. They did have a swamp cooler on the main level, but, you know, cold air just falls. Hot air rises. So that upstairs attic bedroom was hideous in the summer. Well, my mom was concerned, and she had a great idea. We had a rollaway bed that we stored out in our garage so that if we had company come, we could roll that out and set up a bed in the front room area that was very comfortable. And she said, Gail, why don't we get that rollaway and we'll make room down in that storage room in the basement, and you can just sleep there. You can keep your clothes and everything in the upstairs bedroom. But at night, you can just go down and sleep because that basement is so nice and cool, you, you know, when the rest of the house is so hot. Well, I thought that was a great idea. So we got the roll away, put it in the basement, got new sheets on it, got it all ready. The first night that uh, I go down there. I am excited. I'd already had a couple of nights in that attic room and it was like sleeping in a sauna. It was so hot you'd wake up just dripping wet. So I got in my PJs and I went downstairs and I jumped into the bed and it felt so cozy and it was so nice. And it wasn't long before I was asleep and comfortably asleep. When all of a sudden I awoke and I could hear crickets. I thought, my goodness, when you're in the basement, you really can hear the crickets at night. And I listened to them chirp, 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 and soon I was back to sleep. I don't know how much later, but I awoke again. And this time the chirping was really loud and a lot of them. And I thought, there must be a whole convention of crickets outside the window. And I've left the window open in the basement. So I jumped up, I checked one window, checked another, then I checked the other. They were all closed. When the lights went on, the cricket sounds went off. So I went back, crawled into bed, was asleep. And not too long later I awoke because I felt some movement on the mattress. I laid there quietly and I felt something move by the side of my leg. Then I felt it down by my foot. Then I felt one by my neck. I leaped out of bed, screaming and flipped the lights on. When I did, I saw that underneath the bottom sheet, there were little bumps, bumps, bumps. It was flat, and then you'd see something like it was hopping. Well, I screamed so loud that my dad came running down the stairs. We're standing there looking at this rollaway bed with little pop, pop, pop. We pull the bottom sheet off, and what do you know? There's an entire family of crickets that had made their home in that rollaway bed that was being stored in the garage. Needless to say, bye-bye to the rollaway bed, and I was sleeping once again in the attic.